Welcome to the Upperman High School Spring Concert. <laughs> I just looked down and went. Uh, you're in for a very interesting set of songs. That's all I'm going to tell you. These are very different. They're very unique. Uh, a couple of these are things we've never attempted to do before. So, especially this first piece, as you can tell by all of the people kind of scattered around you. Uh, this first piece is called Star Dance. And I'm not going to explain it because I think that would ruin the effect. So I just want you to see what's about to happen. So welcome to our concert. Welcome to uh, this, the amount of hard work that these guys have really, really done for the last four months. And I hope you enjoy everything. And if the power happens to go out, we're going to try to keep playing. It shouldn't. But if it does, eh, we'll figure it out. We got enough phone lights. We should be good. So this is called Star Dance.
that you're not sure what's going to happen because it happens differently every single time. Uh, at one point, the percussion are in one tempo or one speed and the band's in something completely different. So I have to just hope that the percussion can count. <laughs> luckily they can, very luckily. Yes, old Chinese proverb called to me. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm having fun tonight. Uh, so that piece was called Star Dance, and it, it's a very outer space sounding thing, and that's why we had all of the little twinkling stars and stuff going on around you, and we had multiple solos going through the slow section as kind of a, I'm on my space travel, and I'm not sure where I'm going, and then the story finishes going back and seeing everything again. So it's a very different kind of piece, one we've never really tried. So that was the first attempt, and I like that. I hope y'all did too. And it's hot. <laughs> so, so in, my, in my haste of getting started, I forgot to do my ever lovable. Please turn off all cell phones, pagers, and mother in laws. Sorry. I got somebody actually got mad at that last year, so I, I said I would do it one more time, and that was the last one, hopefully. Uh, the next piece on the program is called Choose Joy. Uh, you'll notice that Randall Sandridge's name is on this piece, on this list tonight twice. He is a former middle school band director who realized that he had a really good, uh, and a really good ability to write music, so he quit teaching. And now he owns his own publishing company. He has like 600 pieces of music. Uh, pretty much every band concert this spring in anywhere around this country 
Randall Standridge's name is going to be on a program somewhere. That's how important he is. And then we'll explain the second piece a little later. But this is one of the two pieces that we took to the Upper Cumberland Concert Festival back in March and received a straight superior rating. We got straight ones from every judge. So very proud of these guys for that. So this is the first of the two pieces that we did. The other one will come a little later. So this is Randall Standard's Choose Joy.
when the song ends and they the progression section is like, stuff's broke, stuff's broke, you have to stop for a second. Luckily, it wasn't broke this time. All right, so this this is this gets to be fun, and we get to my partner in crime over at the middle school slash pretty much for the last what twenty five ish years, or ever and ever. Uh, we came up with a really interesting idea this year. We both decided that we wanted to play on each other's concert. So tonight, the band is going to perform the first movement of a trumpet solo with band called Manhattan. And Mr. Netherton is going to be the soloist. Next Monday, the middle school concert, I'm going to play Danny Boy with them. So we're actually performing on each other's concerts, which I don't think has, has we've ever even thought of doing, much less you know attempting. Uh, this is a really, really neat piece. Uh, all the focus needs to be on this man with the trumpet. We'll do what we gotta do. But uh, I had, the, the biggest reason I'm here is because this guy let me. And, <laughs> and uh, six years ago, we knew this was right. We knew this had to happen. And we knew this, this was going to happen. And what's going on over there had to happen. So if you want to see part two of the split concert, next Monday night, the 7th and 8th grade concert is at 7.30. And uh, there will be a lot of alumni in this concert because it's also Old Man's 30th anniversary of being a teacher. <laughs> I think it's funny, I'm the young guy of 23 years, which is weird. So, Mr. Netherton, come on up here. We're going to play Phillips Sparks Manhattan Movement 1, Saturday Serenade.
We just want to hear you. <laughs> so, uh, infinite possibility. Uh, this is the second Randall Standards piece on a concert. And uh, some backstory on this one. Um, when the sophomores and freshmen were seventh grade and eighth grade, so this was the spring of 22, we had just finished doing uh, a standards piece, and, and the piece played really well in the group. It sounded great. Uh, the band liked it, we liked it, and we scored well in it. It just sounded like it. So at that point, I was 28 years in, uh, further in than not, let's say. Uh, and I was looking for things on the bucket list that hadn't been done yet. Um, one of those things was we had never commissioned a piece for us uh, that would be ours. It belongs to us singularly and, and represented us and our spirit and all of that stuff that goes with that. So I talked to John about that, and he said, you know, Standards is taking um, bids for, uh, for works. And I was like, really? We can get all the him? I mean, because at this time, this guy was like an up-and-comer, and he was like really turning out for good stuff. So uh, I, I contacted Standridge, and uh, sure enough, he was accepting commissions. So we went through that whole process, and he said, okay, so here's what I like. So we did this piece uh, of yours called Afterburn. Do you all remember that? Yes. yes. So that was a Standridge piece. So uh, we did this piece <laughs> Afterburn, and we loved it, and it suited the group really well. And we want to do a piece for us about that same level, that same spirit. It, it suits the group well. And uh, I am a lifelong Trekkie. You know this. You can probably know this. Uh, so let's do something Trekkie as well because it's, it's me, right? Uh, so, so, so my favorite character in Star Trek is Spock. And he has this thing where it's called infinite diversities and infinite combinations. Uh, audience members, raise your hand. You know what that is? I, I see infinite diversities and infinite combinations. Oh, my people. Great. So. Uh, it's this basic philosophy that Spock, the Vulcan, has, so the guy that does it if you're not a tricky, uh, where it's like he believes, Vulcans believe, that infinite diversity, infinite combinations, we're all stronger <laughs> in different components when we're all coming together than we are singularly apart. I'm like, man, that's great. So number one, it's a Star Trek thing. Number two, it's my philosophy personally as a human being. I, I, I feel like we as human beings are all stronger when we all come together and we all share our differences and, and all of that. And then number three, hey, it's band world. I got a trumpet and a flute and a clarinet and a drum. And, and together, they're better than they are separate. I mean, most of the time. Uh, so anyway, all of those things together, it's like, man, this is the piece. So he starts working on it. Uh, and he says, well, I'm not going to have it ready until uh, January of 24. So I was like, well, that's kind of more incentive for me to go 30 years than it is. Uh, so, so, okay, well that's great, we can, we can take this and we're going to do like the world premiere of it. Uh, and we're talking about titles back and forth, and he finished up the piece. So, I'm still thinking infinite diversities and infinite combinations. This is what is launching the, the idea of this piece. Uh, and so, he says, well, I'm thinking like infinite joy, infinite whatever, because the piece is so hopeful. It's so hopeful. Oh, it just it rips your heart. It's like, ah, I can do anything. Right, you'll hear it, and you'll be like, you're going to go tackle the world when you leave. Uh, so we spun that back around to like infinite possibilities because, of course, there's dialogue uh, from Spock that brings in infinite diversities and infinite possibilities and all of that stuff. It's like perfect. So he's going like perfect. I'm going like perfect. And then he comes back to me and he says, you know, standards. He says, I like this piece. He said, I don't do a lot of fast three, four time pieces. He said, I really like this. I like this too. So, uh, our seventh grade parents get the world premiere then in March, and we also got straight ones. Uh, so, <laughs> and then um, this will be the second time we performed in public. So, this is the high school premiere of this piece. Uh, and then we will premiere it, or not premiere, but we will uh, perform it a third time, one week from tonight, with our seventh grade creators to their parents and that audience. And as many of these guys, they want to come on stage uh, and join us, and as many of you alumni that uh, have been hooking up uh, with like all that kind of stuff, we're gonna have some alumni on the stage, and we're gonna do some amazing things. It's gonna be really, really fun. So anyway, did, did I talk too much? Probably yes. Okay, Brad, I saw your faces now. I like to say it's strategic, but Matt just like to talk. So all right, well, um, I, I'm gonna get on the, the podium and I'm gonna show.
share this with you too before I get on the podium. Uh, when, I, when I get over there, I'm going to flip the podium the other way, and I'm going to share a seat with you. I don't know that you know this. Um, I'm going to turn the podium to where that little divot is not showing to you, because for me, I have this, this, this growing sensation that the audience members from concert to concert will see me on there, and I like to bounce a little when I conduct, and, and I feel like you'd be fixated on that bounce, and, and you would know how much weight I gained from the last concert. So, this concert. so I, I always, I spin, I spin my podium that way. You didn't know that, did you? But I do. I'm getting more OCD the older I get. See? It's new things. Okay. All right. I'm going to show up and get done. Yeah? Great.
If you made mid-state, stand up. Okay, sit down. If you went to Tennessee Tech's Festival of Winds and Percussion, stand up. Sit down. If you made, for the first time ever, the Nashville Youth Jazz Orchestra, stand up. You can clap for that. the haste of me getting through everything during Christmas, I forgot that, and it's ate at me for five months. I had to make sure that was going to happen. All right, if you went to solo an ensemble with the jazz band and got a superior rating, stand up. Okay, sit down. If you went to University of Tennessee's band day, stand up. Okay. okay. If you're going to march in front of the Southland next year, stand up. Yeah. <laughs> and, if you don't, and if you don't know the process of how to get into that, that is really, really cool. Because that's a hard process. It's basically like a college audition before you actually go to college. And that was really cool. Uh, have I forgotten stuff? I think that's everything. My list is over there, and I'm about to look for it. Uh, and, yeah, who ran there? No, I'm uh, That was so long. Uh, this next piece we're about to play is the second piece that we took to Concert Festival. So, this is actually the very first piece that we played for the judges. Uh, dark. Happy, dark, more dark, a little bit of happy, a lot more dark. Uh, very unique piece, though. So this is called Beyond the Shadows, and then I will come back and talk about the last piece. Are we sure I did good? We did so much stuff this year. I mean, yeah, if you, oh, yeah, if you want to declare an end day attack, raise your stand up. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Got. Seniors, if you got any kind of scholarship for college, stand up. <laughs> Seniors going to college, stand up. This is what makes me <laughs>
much cord, which is good. And if I had a wireless mic, it'd be much worse. Uh, so I'm gonna do this in two different ways. Number one, uh, my, I say this every year, and I, and I mean it every single time. My administration is awesome. And they let me do things that I am lucky to get to do. Uh, in, a, in a situation where we're, we're fighting scheduling and we're fighting things in other schools and we're fighting all kinds of things around, to get to work with this daily is phenomenal. And to have administration and other teachers and faculty and staff that allow this to happen is wonderful. And I know Ms. Bowman, you're still here. There she is. So Mrs. Bowman's back here. Uh, Mr. Robbins is unfortunately at a, uh, at, a, at a funeral home right now in visitation. So he will be here tonight. And like everything else at Upperman, we have a soccer game going on, which ironically we're missing one of our trumpet players because he's playing the soccer game for the, for the district. So this has been, I, I can't thank y'all enough. I can't because I get to do what I want to do. And y'all just kind of look at me and go, go. And it's sometimes it's scary, and sometimes they have no idea what they're letting me do, and that's okay. But this is the end result, and I I am so thankful. Uh, number two, you guys this year have been absolute rock stars. I can't begin to thank the boosters and the parents enough for everything that we've been able to do. Guys, we went to 14 different football games. Should have been 15, but like. Uh, we went to <laughs> Vanderbilt. We did a concert festival. We went to Tech a bunch of times. We, it, we've been a lot of places this year. And y'all never really said anything except go. We'll find a way. Go. And I, I can't thank you enough. Uh, marching season starts. Uh, actually, already started. And if you don't know what we're doing, we're doing Sleepy Hollow. But we're using modern music. And if you know my twisted mind, you know where this is going, because we're starting with Radio Hits Free. <laughs> That's all I'm going to tell you. You'll have to find out later. Uh, the last group to thank is them. <laughs> uh, a jerk. I can be a jerk. I can be really mean. I still don't understand the white t-shirt thing, y'all. Uh, I know. <laughs> I left a bad place six years ago. I left a place where I loved my kids. That was about it. And it. I, this is year six, yet it doesn't feel like six. It was like 16, and especially this year, this group has done just about everything I've asked within reason at jail time for a couple of them. You know who you are. Uh, I thank you. And I know some of you are about to graduate, and I know some of you are graduating early on me, and I know that some of you aren't coming back. But I thank you for this year. I thank you for the ride that we've been on. Because it's been much strange. But it's been so much fun, y'all. And seniors. Remember COVID? That's about all I'm going to start with. Is remember COVID? Remember sitting six feet apart? Remember doing a spring concert on the football field because we couldn't be in here? Remember doing a marching band show when we didn't move? Did you ever think this is how your years would end? Did you ever in your mind think that if you started with that, where we are now and what you're about to do? I am beyond proud of you. And this, this is going to stink for me. This, I don't, I'm not letting you go. I'm sorry, you all failed me. You're done. 
<laughs> you have to come back. Whether you like it or not, you're a senior again. At least we're happy with that. This door is always open. That man room is yours, mainly because you live in it anyways. I've seen your covers. <laughs> and I love every one of you, whether you know it or not, whether you care to know it or not. And I am going to still be that guy 10 years from now that if you get in trouble, I am going to keep you. And you're going to smile and go, I'm sorry. And then we're going to be okay. Okay? Let's enjoy the next few weeks while we still got each other. And if you don't hug me at graduation, I will chase you down. <laughs> they think I'm kidding. Get comfortable for this. The last piece is called The Witch and the Saint. If you have been around us for the last couple of years, this is the last of the Stephen writing key pieces that I have always wanted to do. Uh, if you were here two years ago, it was Pilatus Mountain of Dragons, which was a real place, but a made-up story. Last year was Goddess of Fire. This is about two sisters who have a very interesting story. I'm not going to tell you the story because it'll take a good little while. Uh, but this piece is called a tone poem because it explains the entire storyline, but it explains it musically. So there's a lot of stuff going on, it, it, a lot of twists and turns, a lot of changes. But I thought if we were going to end this season, this is the one that we need to end with. This is the big piece we need to end with. So I thank you for being here. I thank you for bringing the elements to be around. Uh, but this is our final piece for the year, our final piece for this concert, except for graduation. Tom, Tom, get me out of here. So this is called The Witch and the Saint.
Thank mm-hmm. you.